time that we realized that our destiny was something that we had to manage. I'm not trying to code it in a way that you have to do this or that. In that moment, I think we're all free, right? When we, we have a conversation that, that isn't, it isn't held down by anything. You are in my studio, which is located in Jamaica Plain. I was born in Georgetown, Guyana, and I came here when I was three years old. Uh, my family, immigrants, came here, and so I lived in the Dorchester, uh, Boston area, uh, majority of my life. Sun grows old, heroes old, grows stronger. I'm an artist, educator, so my typical day starts with working with young people and allowing those young people an opportunity to experience what we call enhancing their innovative process. So really using art as a tool, a vehicle for their self-reflection, right? Use it as a tool, a vehicle, so they can kind of uh, really develop their voice. As an athlete, I was an athlete growing up, I always found myself um, finding adulation and creativity on the court. And I felt like I was able to take that creativity and translate that into uh, was paint, uh, other media sculpture, drawing, poetry, did a lot of spoken word. Being an artist, right, that is a kind of label that, that kind of can become, can close versus open. Because we're all humans, right? I, I believe that even children at the youngest age, every child, all of us are artists. The question is, do we continue to nurture and facilitate that imagination, that creativity? Um, and so in, 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 in when we do stop, why is it that we stop? Why is it, does it become like, only artists do this, when he, the human capacity is way beyond that? The figures in the paintings of the ICA are images of black men and black boys that have taken part in a journey through a passage, right? Um, earlier, I was looking at the idea of flight, and I, I started researching, um, you know, the idea of the black body being transformed in some way. You know, I obviously fell in love with, you know, Michael Jordan and his ability to somehow do some amazing things in the area as a young person, I idolized him as a black male, a sports an icon, right? But then I thought about it from the perspective of art history, right, historical perspective. And then I also thought about it from the perspective of, you know, the diaspora. Where am I coming from, right? And so this story of, you know, Africans coming um, to America and then deciding that instead of being in bondage, they would free themselves, right, by committing, which quote unquote seems suicide, right, or uh, stepping into the water to become something else. Notre Dame has these uh, pedestal-like figures um, that are joining. And, and it was interesting because I was thinking about them from the perspective of Riaz, which is the idea of care, right? Here you have these figures that are, uh, are you know, adorning, but they're also in the back. There's the Christ figure, there's other saints behind them, but they're protectors, right? They're protectors, they're, they're keepers of something. But each figure had their hand blown off. And the hand was blown off, obviously, not intentionally, but through war, right? Uh, right? And through time, but it just seemed they both had their hands off. And so for me, it was interesting to think about the black male body, especially coming out of the Black Lives Matter movement and all those things. You know, Trayvon, I have another painting called Trayvon um, Floyd, right? or Trayvon George, that talks about Trayvon Martins passage in a way, and even George Floyd's sacrifice, right? And so these figures <clears throat> in themselves are really just these vessels uh, for awareness, awakening, but also ideas of transformation, upliftment. This work is not just me, right? There are other people who are behind me, my father, my grandmother who have passed on, God rest his soul, right? That have brought the spirit of bringing me to America to be the best that I can be, they're also standing with me, right? So this work is really, I think, a more of a, a manifestation 
of, of their dreams and their destiny, and I'm just that vehicle right now. White light.